Today is March 12, 2023, day 382 of the Russia-Ukraine war. I have a couple of very interesting topics to discuss with you all. Let's go to Bakhmut first. Now you all have noticed that Ukrainians have managed to stop Russian advance at this two direction. So to counter this Wagner's came up with ambitious but very good plan, that is to take this whole part into artificial encirclement. This will be done by this canal that runs between Bakhmut and Chesivyar. Since last three days Wagner's are advancing in this direction, and now as you can see they have made significant advances. Their plan is to reach the canal from here. They have two options either to follow the road and cut here, or they can attack in this direction and cut it here. And I think later is the preferred option, because it is relatively close and has open fields. This is confirmed because they are attacking Orokovo Vasilivka now. Some sources say that Wagner's managed to capture it, but it's not true. Now as they reach the canal there, they will increase their pressure around Ivanisk and push towards the road and reach the canal and cut it physically. Now sea heights of Chesivyar will play big part, and also after the withdrawal, all the Ukrainian unit are located here, and because of this they were able to stop Russian advance. To say it would be a difficult task to complete would be an understatement. And also on this northern flank, yesterday there was a report that Ukrainians are using Su-25 and MiG-29 very heavily here. By this we can say Ukrainians are also aware of this plan. This is such a good plan, but in my opinion, if this would have happened a week ago, then Bakhmut would have already fallen. So now another topic is that currently many sources are claiming that Ukraine is about to launch counteroffensive in Bakhmut. Their plan is to push Wagner's out and unblock critical roads and gain advantageous position in city. See guys, this can be done because currently deployment of elite Ukrainian units around Bakhmut has increased significantly. But the main question is why is Ukraine spending their forces and equipment here and jeopardizing their spring offensive? Now listen, I think Russian winter offensive never began because Russia have not used their mobilized force in large numbers. Reason behind this could be that they want to use them in Ukrainian counteroffensive. And after the Ukrainian offensive ends, Russia will launch their own offensive and gain very very large amount of territory and can possibly end this war. Please note that this is just my personal opinion. And another thing I want to discuss is, if NATO countries ever want to send personnel in this war. Ukrainian forces that are trained by NATO will give them accurate data whether their style of war will work against Russia or not in this offensive. I am not saying they will, but if they are thinking then this will give them a better idea. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. 